can you really have too much in your retirement savings ever? I don't think so. In fact, I know a lot of folks are working hard to play catch up with their retirement contributions. If you're one of them, Jim Lineweaver has good news for you today. Jim's a certified financial planner with the Lineweaver Financial Group. Thanks for joining us, Jim. Thanks for having me. You know, uh, we, I think we've talked about on the show how important putting money into retirement plans is because your money grows tax-deferred or tax-free. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to save, but there are limits to how much we can put into retirement plans. I don't think too many people know those limits. No, and they're not aware of them. And also, they keep getting indexed after 2011, so they keep going up every year, which is great. That's good. But you got to make sure it always has to be through payroll deduction. You can't just dump it in with a check at the end of the year. So you got to do some good planning. So tell us about the limits. Well, some of the limits are really based on your 401k, okay, which a lot of people participate in. So if you're less than age 50, you can put in $17,500. And then also, if you're 50 or over, you can add another $5,500 to that to get all the way up to 23000 A couple things to note here. A lot of 401ks are top heavy, which means they restrict the amount of money that you can put in. And that only applies to the contribution limit of the 17.5. You can still do another 5500 And also, for people that are over age 70, they don't think they can contribute to these anymore, but they can. They can still contribute to an employer plan. And a lot of times, if you're not more than a 5% owner in that company, you do not have to do any uh, required minimum distributions on that money. So these limits that you were talking about, do they apply to business and government workers and nonprofit employees? All? Yeah, they can be a little different. So you're going to get that base core, which we just talked about, but people in the governmental sector can even contribute more if you're like an educator, and we have an example for your viewers as well. Well, let's walk through an example, but especially let's take an educator because there the limits can be really really huge they really which is can great. be so let's say you're an educator and we ran an example of somebody who's like 55 and has 20 years of service in what ends up happening is they can have that general limit of 175 they can do the catch up of another 5500 now they have more than 15 years of service so they get a $3000 catch up there so they're up to 26000 but it doesn't end there because educators not only have a 403B, they also have a 457 plan that they're eligible for. Then they can do another 17,500, another, if they're within three years of retirement, another 17,500, and for a total of 35,000. You add these two together, you get all the way up to $61,000 that they can put away. <laughs> the only problem is you gotta make 60,000, you gotta right. make more than that if yeah. you're gonna have some money to live on too. So hopefully your spouse is making good money and you can just shelter maybe well, all of yours. That's which is a nice point. coordination. That's very nice. Now, you haven't mentioned IRAs and Roth IRAs. Are there limits to what we do in the Roth in a regular IRA and a Roth IRA as well? There are, and those get indexed as well. So if I'm less than age 50, I can put $5,500 in. If I'm 50 and over, I get another $1,000. So taking that total of $6,500, and that's for a Roth or a traditional IRA, but don't add them together thinking you can get up to 13000 put aside. Well, this is all so important because the fact is, the more we put away, even after 70, the more we put away, the more money we'll have for retirement, and it's growing tax-free or tax-deferred. It really does. It can make a huge difference. Huge difference. Thanks so much for your great advice. My pleasure. A successful retirement requires discipline and planning, and that includes making sure that you save enough during your working years to carry you through your retirement years. Worried that you haven't saved enough? Give Jim a call. He has limitless ideas on how to help you. His number's coming right up. For more information, call the Lineweaver Financial Group at one 888 313-4009 or log on to www.lineweaver.net Next, the next wave of Medicaid waivers.